11 year old Sydney Dion doing what she loves best. I like playing soccer. Well, I get to play with my friends and also it's just really fun scoring goals and stuff. She loves soccer. It's been a passion of her since she was six years old. Um, pretty much played almost every day of the week, 365 days a year, and cannot get enough of it. The North Olmsted sixth grader who can't get enough of soccer is an elite player with big dreams. I want to be a vet and a soccer player. Her idol is Mia Hamm, um, and she, that's why she loves the number nine. It's out of bounds. But Sydney thought her soccer dreams might be knocked out of bounds after an injury and a visit to Dr. George Thompson. But she had come home with um, lower back pain that wouldn't go away. He gave her her diagnosis as scoliosis. I thought soccer was just going to go bye-bye. So, yeah. So I was sad about that. Scoliosis, a curvature of the spine, affects about 4% of the population, with about 7% requiring surgery if it progresses. But Sydney was diagnosed early with the help of a product Dr. Thompson helped develop, ScoliScore. Well, if we know who's going to get worse and who's not, it really allows us to tailor on an individual basis what we're going to do for an involved child. About 600 patients from Rainbow, one of the largest pediatric spine deformity programs in the country, helped develop the DNA test. And the child's asked to spit in the tube until we reach the little black mark that analyzes saliva to find 53 genetic markers to predict the seriousness of scoliosis by giving it a score from 0 to 200. Sydney's score is in the middle, meaning monitoring and possibly night bracing. So stuff like Scoli's score really excites me, not because it's, gonna, it's not going to make scoliosis go away, but we're going to have a different approach to it. Well, detecting it early allows you not to have a significant deformity. It allows us to follow treatment principles. And that early treatment will help a little soccer player make sure scoliosis doesn't keep her on the sidelines. He told me that um, he told me that it shouldn't affect anything and I can do whatever I want. She's so encouraged now to help others. Um, you know, if, if a parent can maybe see this and, and decide that, you know what, my child, you know, I'm going to get my child checked and maybe push their doctor to look at it. I think she realizes that uh, you, know, you can achieve anything and that nobody's perfect and you just work hard at it. And she's, she's going to fight this just like she fights with a soccer ball.